Hello everyone, today I'm sharing with you my first design team project for Tresors Deluxe for the month of September and this time around I've done another altered box. This is a small box I picked up at the thrift store uh, I think on Tuesday. It cost me 50 cents. It was dark green and it had um, folk heart flowers on it, you know, that really like older style. Um, and it's a, a wooden, like almost balsa box. It's not paper mache, it's actually wood, but very light. Um, so yes, because I was thinking, what am I going to do? And I saw the little box and I thought, okay, let's see what we can do with that. I've actually covered the, paper, the box in some Kayser Craft paper and it's the On This Day collection. I absolutely love that paper. It's this beautiful um, green blue color and it just there's just enough to ha add a hint of color um, through all the laces and things. Okay on the top here I have put these two beautiful appliques from Tresors Deluxe and they actually mirror image one another. Um, I think they fit on there just beautifully and down the center here I have used this lace here just running across the middle to fill in the gap and it worked very nicely on top I've made a gathered flower um, from my own lace and then there's this beautiful Italian lace that I folded in half and gathered to add some more fullness with this beautiful silk flower that I was sent in my um, banner challenge absolutely gorgeous that flower thank you for that I have some of the Tresors Deluxe sprays poking out on either side here and they're the ones with the little frosted flowers I'm hoping you can see those I can't see it through the viewfinder it doesn't it's just a little bit um, because it's all the same color it's a bit hard to see but I hope you can see that uh, around the edge of the box I have the lovely braided trim with the drop pearls hanging down and it has the gold accents if you can see that and then this gorgeous scallop lace here which I really don't have to show you because you can see it and it's absolutely gorgeous it sort of reminds me of a wedding cake a little bit and that's how I've decorated the outside of the box I just went around the edges with some white acrylic paint just to sort of you know um, help blend things in a little bit inside the box now I've only just finished it so let's hope it's not there we go not stuck or anything um, if I can get hold of some more of this paper I will be lining the inside of the box also but as it is I find it very very difficult to find so unless I find some on eBay um, I will just keep it painted but I'm, I'm hopeful that I can find some um, because it'll look a lot prettier than that. So that's the lid of the box as I said there's a beautiful braid around the, the side there and this is actually a gift for my mother's birthday and it's a little album and it's going to have some lovely pictures of her parents who are no longer here and also um, her grandparents. Now I'm waiting on those photos so there are no pictures in this book it is just simply a book with pages at the moment but I thought well that's okay because you know sometimes it might be nice to send people a book that they can put pictures in themselves because you know we don't always want books full of vintage ladies do we you know it might be nice to have a book full of our own relatives so that's just painted at the moment that's actually got like three and four coats in it that's how dark the green was um, so I'm hoping I can find some more of that paper to finish that off and this is the lovely little book that I've made and it is only little and it's done with the majority of Tresors Deluxe laces I have covered the cover in some of the wadding fabric here on the top of the cover there I have this beautiful scalloped lace and I have just gathered that together like that to make a lovely little flower on the front. It's almost like a star isn't it? Underneath that I've put some beautiful blue green lace 
just to shine through and I think it looks ever so pretty. A little jewel of my own in the centre and then under each of the gaps there I've put a little bit of one of these little um, leafy bits, the longer one down the bottom here and the little ones in between there and I think it filled up that space really nicely. All around the edge of the book here I have used the top of my favourite leaf trim <laughs> which is almost a shame but it's okay because I cut this up anyway and use it so it's, um, it's okay with me to do that. Um, I think it added a beautiful finish around the edge of the book there. The Gathered Lace is my own vintage trim that I put there and that helps to just cover up the insides of the cover. And that's the front cover. The back is the same as you can see. Just around there with some vintage lace. On the spine I have lots of ribbons. I have off cuts of the laces that I've used inside the book. Just the little edging strips. I also have some of these lovely little leafy bits that I've tied on there because they make beautiful dangles. Once again for here I have used this lace here. I've used the bow at the top and then two of the smaller pieces, uh, two of the end pieces just going up like that with just a little bit of mesh in there as well. For the jewel I've used this gorgeous bling trim and as you can probably tell I have used that little part there, that little circle with the dangles and I've put that inside the bow there and I think it looks ever so pretty. The blue ribbon is a vintage ribbon that I've had for quite some time. Um, I may need to run the straight iron over it a little bit or curl it a little bit very gently because it's it's sort of been stored for a while so it's still got a few little creases in it. Okay so that's the front cover. I don't want to be taking too long and as I said there are no pictures in this book but I will show you what I'm going to do. On each of the pages I have used the Trezor's Deluxe trims around the edge. Different ones for different pages. Of course I've used this one again going around the edge of this page here just sort of cut up and made as a border around the page. With this one here I have used this particular lace here and done the same thing just cut it all up so that it fits in the spine there I've once again just used um, like trying to give you an example like the top of a trim the border of a trim and it fits beautifully in the gully my idea oh the pages are actually covered in that one's got mesh and this has got some curtain fabric now I've done that to every page at the end of um, me showing you this book there's going to be a quick how-to on how I put this book together just the basics of the book no decorating included apart from you know the bit of mesh here over the paper um, so if you're interested in seeing how I made this particular book it'll it's a, a quick 10 minute how-to at the end what I'm going to do once I have the photos on hand I'm going to of course have a, a border have the photo probably use a bit of mesh and scrunch it up with some more lace going around the edges on one side on the other side I'm going to have the details of that particular picture because they are vintage images they are family photos and um, yeah it's probably just as well they're not here because I'm not sure whether my mother would want them sharing with everybody anyway Okay, so here's the next page. Once again, I have the beautiful trims from Trezor's Deluxe. And this lovely little one here is this one that I mentioned that look like little bows. But then my friend Hazel said, if you turn that the other way, it's like little Christmas trees. So if you're after a nice trim for Christmas, there you go. How cute is that? So that one is all the way around the edge there. Of course, I did take the border of it off 
that way it could curve around much easier and I got to use the border in the gully there anyway so that was nice this is that bow lace again goodness I've used that a lot haven't I this time around I've just used the little bows at the top there and put it all the way around with one large applique down the bottom this has got some old wedding dress lace that I had covering the pages. The next page we have two long leaf pieces that I like so much. All around the edge is this leaf trim here that I have cut up and placed. This one here is this gorgeous trim here. Once again cutting off the border so that it curves around the page much easier and I did leave the little dangly bits on all the way around because it's nice to have just that little bit of movement. Our last page here is a lovely page of course because it's the last page and I'm just trying to find this speaks for itself this trim it's that beautiful one that I got last month I love that trim and this one here I think I only have a very small piece left and it seems to be hiding at the moment here we go. Got it. Now it's, it's this particular one here. And I've just cut it down the middle, cut out cross hatch pieces, placed it around, and in between I've just put some of the lovely little daisies from this trim just to add a little bit of interest. Um, on top of the box I mentioned the Italian lace. This is the particular Italian lace that I was talking about. It's ever so fine. I just folded it over like that and then gathered along the edge to make a flower. And on the final page also I've put the beautiful glass trim, beaded glass trim. Um, down the bottom which is just a nice touch on the final page okay so that is my lovely little journal for my mother um, I think it's nice to be able to see it without pictures as well because you know you might want to send somebody an album one day with your own personal family photos in it or just as a gift for them to fill out like you know a baby album that they could pop pop possibly put their um, pictures of their children growing up, a sweet 16, an engagement party, anything like that. Um, it's just nice, you know, it doesn't always have to be our vintage ladies as beautiful as they are. So there we go, that's my project for, my first project for September. I hope you like what I've made and if you're interested in interested to see how I've made this little album which was really really easy and it would be a great first lace book for someone who's wanting to make a lace book they're still not quite sure they're not sure on binding lace books you know they want to have a little bit of room for embellishments like you know there's a good almost half an inch between there to add your embellishments and you can do it wider yourself. This is a very easy and a very strong sturdy way to make a, a lace book if you're just starting out. So stick around, have a look and see what you think and I hope you enjoy it and thank you once again for joining me today. And of course I'll put links to Trezor's Deluxe um, to their store and also the Facebook page in the description box below. Take care everybody and bye bye.